Hi guys, I'm Dave, and this is Beer Virtually. So it's been a long day at work. It's been a long week. I'm not complaining. Work's good. We've just been really busy. So yeah, I wanted to come home today, have some dinner, and drink a beer. We have a beer from Founders, and I've never had this beer before. Um, this is an ale. We've been doing some lighter beers. We had a whole rash of dark beers. I'm gonna do some lighter beers. So this is Founders Mosaic Promise. Ooh, that smells good. So before I pour this, I wanna talk about the bottle cap real quick. So this says Founders 20, uh, 1997 to 2017, 20 years, no regrets. I'll do a close up of the cap. On the inside, it says brewed for us, which I think is a common founder's thing. Pretty cool. I'm going to put this one in the jar. If you remember a couple episodes ago, I started a jar with uh, different bottle caps. So I'm going to put that in the jar. The smell. Very floral, hoppy-ish. Oh, it's pouring very light. That's a nice golden color, slightly cloudy, almost like a Tuker or something. If I had to just guess what beer that was in the glass, I'd probably guess Tuker or something like a like one of the lighter um, wheat beers. Let's take a first sip. Slightly hoppy. A slight bitter finish. That's interesting. That's uh, it starts out you think it's gonna have a sweet finish, but then it turns bitter. So this beer is unique for two reasons. It has um, mosaic hops and golden promise malt. That's where it gets its name, mosaic promise. This beer is 5.5% ABV. Has an IBU of 50, which uh, I'd probably guess a hair higher. I'd probably guess closer to 60, 55, 60, but it's not too, too bitter. This is an American Pale Ale. So the difference between an APA, an American Pale Ale, and an IPA, an India Pale Ale, is that usually IPAs are more hoppy and a little higher IBUs than APAs. Some APAs are a little more amber in color also. Um, I did not look up the price for this and I only bought a single because I've never heard, even heard of it before I saw it. <clears throat> so I'll put the price here. Um, it's, it's good. I, I'm glad I didn't buy a six pack though. It's kind of average. It's a, uh, it's a beer. It's kind of, it tastes like a light IPA. It's missing that the APAs have usually being a little more red or amber color. Usually they have a little bit of sweetness from the maltiness. From the roasted malt gives it that red color. Usually there's a hair of sweetness. But that being said, um, this beer is ranked, rated uh, 96 on rate beer out of 100, which is pretty high. And this beer is available August through November. So I'm not quite sure how it was in total wine now. Plus it was left over, but I don't get that impression. I think stuff moves pretty quickly in there. Pretty cool label, Mosaic Promise. It's got kind of a stained glass window. Um, 
with a girl or mermaid or something like that holding grains and hops and a basket of hops. On the back it says Mosaic Promise showcases two unique ingredients, Mosaic Hops and Golden Promise Malt. The versatility of the hops, pleasing aroma and flavor characteristics and the traditional barley's depth of flavor comprise this clean, rich, golden beer. We can brew complex beers with the best of them, but we recognize there is also a beauty in simplicity. I'd say that's that's pretty accurate. And this beer actually was bottled on 8-15-17. So that's in that range of when it's available. Pretty cool. I like when the, the brewers put their name in the glass itself and Founders has done that. Pretty consistent with Founders bottles and labeling for the most part. We have a bunch of stuff coming up. Um, quite a few lighter beers. We're kind of getting, I guess, out of the season for darker beers. I'm curious, though, to try 6.3 Beans, which is a uh, bourbon barrel, uh, I think, stout or porter. And uh, I, I've been, I like 6 Point, and I've got some other stuff from 6 Point uh, coming up. So I'm, and uh, one of them is Reason, which I, which is just a good, solid beer. I'm excited about that. All right, let's rate this beer. I'm gonna go with a 3.75. It's good, but it's not special enough or complex enough or any of those other things to give it more than a 3.75. So there's that. I hope everyone's having a good week. Keep your chin up. Stay positive. Until next time, cheers.